This back axle has a wing nut that what so the mouse trap is going to go forward, drop a cup, and because of the front axle string we did, it's going to go backwards. And as these and as this spins backwards, the wing nut comes and reaches these these nuts and that causes it to stop. So it's this. Okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it forward a few rotations. That way as it goes backwards, it'll come back and stop. Now, the problem will be shown as I demonstrate this. So he's placing the cup in front of this. This is supposed to go a particular distance and then reverse, leaving the cup in front of it, and reverse two meters. But it's not going to do that. Actually, I'm going to move this up to the middle. Alright. So, I'm going to release the locking mechanism, and it's going to go forward. Not that slow, but get the idea. Yeah, I don't know why it's going that slow, but yeah, it will mm -hmm. go forward. And now it's going to switch, and now it's going to start to rotate backwards. Okay, so it's going backwards now. And it's still being powered by the mousetrap. And then eventually, that wing nut is going to come back. Well, idea is this would keep spinning backwards. Usually it would go faster than this. I'm not sure why it's going slow right now. Mm -hmm. It'll go backwards, and you're going to see it stop abruptly because. There we go. It stopped abruptly because the wing nut has reached these nuts. Mm -hmm. So it stopped. The problem is, it's supposed to only reverse two meters. Yes. Instead it's of to about two meters from where it began, it should have stopped right here. But since the back axle is rotating forward, the wing nut is moving progressively away from the nuts, and it's supposed to move back only a short distance. But there's no there's no uh, nuts there to stop it. That's kind of the problem. We have to figure out a way for these nuts to magically contact this wing nut so it can stop. The two meters. 